So adding fractions when they have the same denominator is quite straightforward. If they have different denominators, then we've got a bit of a problem. We've got here 1 half plus 1 third. Now, what I need to do is I need to think about turning both of these fractions into something else so that they then have the same denominator. Okay. Now, the trick is figuring out, well, what should that denominator be? Now, the way to do it is to find what's referred to as the least common multiple of the denominators. Okay, so this is, this is one way of doing it. Okay, I will show uh, another way in a moment. So we find the lowest common multiple. So often abbreviated to LCM, which you may have seen before. So the LCM, the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3. So we look at the multiples of 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. So it's essentially the 2 times table. We look at the 3 times table. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. And the lowest common multiple, so it's got to be common to both lists, so a number that's in both lists, and it's the first number that you come across that is in both lists, the lowest of them, which is 6. So the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. OK, so what I can do then is I can rewrite both of these fractions as something over 6. OK? Now, from 1 half to something over 6, I need to multiply the denominator by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So you must also multiply the numerator by 3. So 3 sixths is the same as 1 half. Now, as for 1 third, 3 needs to be multiplied by 2 to get to 6. So 1 needs to be multiplied by 2. So 2 sixths is the same as 1 third. Now that these have a common denominator, so because they've got the same denominator, I can now add those two fractions together. Because if I've got 3 sixths and I add on 2 sixths, how many sixths have I got? 5 of them. OK, so that is how you can add two fractions together with different denominators, OK? Now, I said that there was a second way of really thinking about it. The second way is via something called cross-multiplication. Now, there is a little bit of a problem with cross-multiplication. Um, cross-multiplication is a quite straightforward process to learn. However, Sometimes you end up with a fraction at the end that needs to be simplified. OK, so it won't always give you the most simplified form of the fraction. Whereas this method um, will give you the most simplified form based on that denominator. You may end up being able to simplify that one. OK, but um, usually this gives you a better answer. So how do we do cross-multiplication? Well, essentially what we do is we multiply diagonally, okay? Hence the idea of cross-multiplication. So what do we do first? We do this leading diagonal first. We do 1 times 3. And then we add, because of the addition there, the other diagonal product, 1 times 2, over the product of the denominators, 2 times 3. So we get 3 plus 2, which is 5, over 6. And so you get the same answer. And that is cross-multiplication. So what we'll do is we'll go through one more example of these. And then I'll go through some more examples in the next video as well. Okay. So let's say 
I've got, uh, let's go with um, one quarter plus one sixth. Okay. So if we do it the first method first, we look for the lowest common multiple of four and six. So four, eight, 12, 16, etc. 6, 12, 18, 24, etc. So the lowest common multiple is 12. So I write both of these as something over 12. Now 4 needs to be multiplied by 3 to get 12. So 1 times 3 is 3. 6 needs to be multiplied by 2 to get 12. So 1 times 2 is 2. And so we end up with 3 plus 2, which is 5 over 12. So the answer is 5 twelfths. Okay, now let's see it with cross multiplication. Now with cross multiplication, in general, this is the method that you would want to then employ for algebraic fractions later on. Okay, so cross multiplication is really useful and is the method that you will use most often. However, let's have a look and see what answer we get here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all multiply the leading diagonal. So 1 times 6 and then add the other diagonal, 1 times 4, over the product of the denominators, 4 times 6. So we get 6 plus 4, which is 10, over 24. Now, as I said, this example has given us an unsimplified fraction. So we then need to go through the added process of dividing top and bottom by 2, so we get 5 twelfths. So you do get the same result, OK? So cross-multiplication is really useful um, for moving ahead in mathematics. This method, using the lowest common multiple, is OK for um, small denominators. Once you get to larger denominators, um, it really depends on how good your uh, mental arithmetic is.